Meredith Lynn McRae, born May 30, 1944, was the eldest of her parents' four children. Born into a family of actors, Meredith became exposed to the world of entertainment quite early in her life. However, to minimize the influence of Hollywood on their children, Gordon and Sheila McRae moved to San Fernando Valley, California. Meredith therefore grew up in a modest house and was taught the importance of earning things rather than receiving them for free. These early learnings allowed Meredith to stay humble throughout her career and work hard every day of her life. When Meredith was only eight years old, she made her big screen debut with the film By the Light of the Silvery Moon. In 1963, at the age of 19, Meredith was offered the role of Sally Ann Morrison, the love interest of Mike in the ABC sitcom My Three Sons. Alongside playing Sally in the show, Meredith also did a small cameo in the film Bikini Beach, recorded her first solo record, and completed college during this time. In 1966, she decided to take the role of Billy Joe Bradley in the CBS sitcom Petticoat Junction, which made her a household name. Though many of us will forever remember Meredith McRae as the beautiful Billy Joe Bradley, she was more than just a pretty face. In fact, Meredith played a key role in transforming Billy's character from just a blonde beauty to a strong, fierce, and independent woman. McRae lived up to the name of her parents. She wasn't just a successful actress, but a multi-talented performer who conquered every field she entered. In this video, we look at the impressive career and exceptional life of Meredith McRae. Facts First presents The Humble Career of Meredith McRae from My Three Sons. Before we get started, click the like button and subscribe to our channel. And make sure you click the notification bell to stay updated with our future videos. Meredith's mother was a popular star. Meredith's mother, Sheila McRae, was a huge star. Born in London, she moved to New York with her family right before the beginning of World War II. Sheila married Gordon McRae in 1941, and the two did several musicals together, including Bells Are Ringing and Guys and Dolls during the mid-60s. If you're familiar with TV of the late 60s, you may remember her as Alice Cramden from The Jackie Gleason Show. She also appeared on I Love Lucy as herself and played Madeline Richmond on General Hospital. Sheila's career was not restricted to the small screen. She also did several films, including Caged, Backfire, and Sex and the Single Girl. Though she moved to San Fernando Valley in California to raise her children, she didn't ever completely cut off from the world of acting. In fact, Sheila did several TV shows around the same time that Meredith was building her career. As was her father. Meredith's father was a household name and a huge star. Albert Gordon McRae started his career as a singer and eventually moved to Broadway. In 1945, the CBS network gave him the Gordon McRae show on the radio, which was followed by Three to Make Ready. In 1947, Gordon signed a contract with Warner Brothers and made his big screen debut with The Big Punch in 1948. Between 1949 and 56, he appeared in several films. His most famous films include On Moonlight Bay, By the Light of the Silvery Moon, in which Meredith made a cameo, Oklahoma, and Carousel. Gordon McRae also did two Broadway shows with his wife, both of which were quite successful. While Meredith suffered from brain cancer, her father was diagnosed with cancer of the mouth and jaw, and he died of complications induced by pneumonia in 1986. She was a regular on several game shows. During her acting career, McRae forayed into different genres of television. Alongside making several appearances on the big screen, she was also a regular on several small screen shows. During her mid-career, Meredith developed a strong liking for game shows. During her entire career, she appeared on several game shows, including Match Game, What's My Line, Personality, Family Feud, and Card Shark. She also appeared on the shows He Said, She Said, and Tattletales with her then-husband Greg Malavy. In 1985, she was even in a pilot of a game show titled $50,000 a Minute, which she was to host with Jeff Edwards. She appeared on so many game shows during her career, viewers actually lost count of how many game shows she had appeared on. However, one TV Guide article reported at one point in her career, she appeared on 31 game shows in just over a month. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to stay updated about all such fun and interesting videos. Her love for academics was known to everyone around her. Meredith was born to star parents and successful entertainers. However, to keep their children away from showbiz, Gordon and Sheila McRae moved away from Beverly Hills and settled in San Fernando Valley. This decision turned out to be good for their children, especially Meredith, who, away from the limelight, was able to focus keenly on her education. She attended Buckley School and North Hollywood High School. 
Though she started acting at the early age of 19, she continued to study for her bachelor's degree. In fact, a profile published by Orange Coast Magazine revealed that Meredith, alongside fulfilling her mother and spouse duties, attended night classes at UCLA for 10 years before receiving her degree in English literature. That's exemplary commitment and dedication. She pursued a successful musical career. Meredith wasn't just a beautiful actress, but also a gifted singer. Well, given that her parents had built a successful music career, it's not surprising Meredith decided to pursue a musical career herself. In 1964, while shooting for My Three Sons, Meredith recorded a song titled Image of a Boy. The song was a gender-revised cover of the song Image of a Girl, released by the American pop group The Safaris. Candy Johnson, the popular American singer and dancer, and her exciters appeared as the backing band on the track. The same year, both Candy and Meredith did a movie called Bikini Beach. After she joined the cast of Petticoat Junction, she and the other two Bradley daughters created the girls from Petticoat Junction and released several successful singles, including Who Needs Memories of Him, Goodbye Love. Didn't we tell you Meredith conquered every field she entered? She was cast opposite Joe Namath in his first film. Joe Namath was always a well-known name. And in 1969, in Super Bowl III, Namath led the Jets to a victory over the Colts. This victory turned an already popular sportsman into a pop icon. Namath took advantage of this popularity and signed numerous endorsement deals. He also started doing theater, television, and finally films. After appearing on The Brady Bunch, Namath landed his first film in 1970. He played the role of a Vietnam vet who dreams of someday becoming a successful country singer. Meredith was cast opposite Joe and became his first leading lady. Apparently, the two had a lot of fun shooting the film together. In an interview, McRae narrated the story of how Joe kept asking her if he was terrible, when in fact, she could see he was actually a good actor. She successfully forayed into the world of journalism and talk shows. When Meredith McRae took on the role of Billy Joe Bradley in Petticoat Junction, she proved with her acting she wasn't just another beautiful girl, but a smart and intellectual woman. It's therefore no surprise Meredith eventually decided to foray into the world of journalism and talk shows. She had the gift of gab, and therefore decided to accept the position of co-host on the mid-morning L.A. show. Those who worked around her often spoke about how Meredith would devote hours to doing research about her guests, and it was this devotion that made her show so popular. A famous celebrity once decided to do an interview with Meredith instead of appearing on a national TV show, even though Meredith's show had a limited audience, simply because she was such a smart interviewer and her guests loved talking to her. She worked on Mid Morning LA for eight years and during this time even won an Emmy. After Mid-Morning L.A., Meredith created and hosted a show called Born Famous, in which she interviewed the children of famous celebrities. She associated herself with causes that were important to her. Meredith always found time to associate herself with causes important to her. She was part of various charities and civic groups. She was a member of the League of Women Voters and Women in Films. That apart, she was also a member of the United Cerebral Palsy Foundation and served as its telethon host for over two decades. In late 1999, Meredith was diagnosed with stage 4 brain cancer. After a long battle, she breathed her last breath at her Manhattan Beach residence. She was only 56 at the time. In accordance with her last wish, her ashes were scattered in the Pacific Ocean, off the coast of California. Meredith McRae was a beautiful woman who lived a full life and conquered every field she set her eyes on. While some of us may only remember her as the beautiful Billy Joe Bradley from Petticoat Junction or Sally from My Three Sons, her legacy extends far beyond these two shows. Meredith's was a life well lived. How do you remember Meredith McRae? Tell us in the comments section below before you move on to the next video. But before you do anything, make sure you subscribe to Facts First for more videos like this.